In this tutorial, we're going to create new VMware Workstation Pro Virtual Machine and then install Microsoft Windows 10. In the first menu that's presented to you when you launch VMware, we'll create, um, create a new virtual machine. And here we're going to pick a custom option. On this screen, you can pick hardware compatibility. You should consider choosing different options, but I'll choose the latest workstation, VMware 15, and click Next. Here you can choose from uh, installer disk, if I would have a DVD, or installer disk image, or choose an option, I'll install the operating system later, and this is the option I'm going to choose. Here I'll pick uh, Microsoft Windows, because this is gonna be the guest operating system I will be installing, and I will here choose Windows 10 x64. And here you give a name, it doesn't matter which name you will choose, uh, and you would need to pick a spot where you will be installing. This is where the large files will be created. So if C drive is not the right place, you can probably pick a different place. Maybe D drive if you have a bigger drive, depending upon your hardware configuration. I'll leave the virtual machine name as default, Windows 10 x64, um, and leave the location default as well. Here you have to choose uh, BIOS versus UEFI uh, and define if you would like to do a secure boot. Uh, I'll click a, keep a default option, UEFI, a newer version of BIOS and I'm not going to choose secure boot. Number of processors, the best practice for VMware is just to use one processor. You can use more than one processor, um, but um, it's typically not recommended if you're running multiple virtual machines. Depending upon your configuration, you might have challenges if you choose more than one processor. So one processor and two cores is a good configuration. I'm going to click Next. Here you choose the amount of memory. Uh, the good amount is two gigabytes. If you're planning to run um, a lot of applications on this virtual machine, might, you might consider having four gigabytes, and this is how you choose and configure and switch between options. Um, another thing uh, to keep in mind, you can always change it later, so it doesn't matter what you choose initially, uh, because memory is something you can change later in VMware. Here you choose how v virtual machine will be connected to the network. Uh, this is the best default option, use network address translation, typically it works uh, the best. And this is the SCSI controller type, so I'll just choose a default option. This is the only option I can choose, uh, LSI Logix SAS. And I'll choose SCSI. This is the fastest uh, hard drive platform, and that's the uh, default option as well, so I'll keep it there. Um, here you would need to choose how your hard drive data, drive C, will be stored, or maybe additional drives that you will be creating for the virtual machine. Here you choose the size. I typically recommend storing um, a virtual disk as one single file because that's the fastest performance. Uh, but uh, the select selecting the bottom option uh, gives you more choices if, for example, your operating system doesn't support files larger than four gigabytes or your USB system, which is not the case anymore. It used to be. So I would uh, not recommend selecting this option because that's lower performance. So keep uh, all your hard disk as one, uh, as one file. Here you choose the name of the file and you browse for the location. We'll just choose a default, Windows 10x64 VMDX. By default, it creates small file, but then it grows as uh, Windows uh, or any applications or you add more files into the operating system. And then we'll click Finish. This are the kind of the summary of uh, everything that you've done, a name, location of the files uh, version of operating system. This is compatibility for virtual machine files and uh, hard disk files. Even though I believe hard disk files, VMDX files are compatible. I'll click finish. And what we have now, we have a new virtual machine uh, created under my computer. It shows all this configuration in this interface. Uh, we can close this window because also it shows each a new uh, each virtual machine as a separate tab here. What we can do now, we can power on this virtual machine and we can also go and modify uh, settings if necessary, if we change something. And remember I told you that memory you can change later. As a next step, I'm going to download Microsoft Windows ISO file. That's the installer for Windows operating system. You always want to choose the latest. So you go to Google and you type. We type download Windows ISO in Google search and this is the first link that pops up. Uh, we will click and download tool. We need to uh, create Windows 10 installation media. So you need to download the tool uh, and it will allow you to create uh, the ISO file. So you click download the tool and then you click on the tool itself, launch it. And what we'll be doing, we'll be creating installation media. You can put your installation media on USB drive, DVD or ISO file. ISO file is what VMware uses. So we'll pick ISO file option and click next. 
uh, choose defaults uh, this is fine click next and here we'll put ISO file I'll click next and then I'll just pick location would be in my documents for this user and Windows machine and I'm gonna click Save and it is going to download the software and we will have at the end of this process a Windows ISO file on my uh, local machine and now we have the process of uh, downloading uh, completed so we'll click finish if we go back to VMware what we can do now we can insert this virtual uh, Windows installation file into our virtual DVD um, and the way we do it is we click on the edit virtual machine settings we click on the CD DVD SATA and here we choose use ISO file image option and click browse and uh, what we have here in the documents if we go to documents this is the Windows ISO file that I just downloaded and I also need to choose the option connected power on to make sure that this DVD will be connected I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to power on this virtual machine So I had to click uh, microphone uh, mute button here uh, to continue the process and we'll choose region United States uh, keyboard layout for United States US we're not going to add any additional layout so we're going to skip this additional layout options here we will not be signing in with Microsoft accounts we'll, instead we'll create local accounts so we'll choose option domain join instead and uh, here we'll create a user ID for our PC and then we'll set up security questions uh, we'll accept uh, Cortana as a personal assistant or you can decline for VMware it might be hard with hardware uh, because we have to have a special hardware to do it so I'm gonna decline so you choose this to support Microsoft uh, uh, program We'll choose default privacy settings. So we are done here, but you see my screen is rather small um, and I do not have a driver that fits screen well. So what we're going to do, and there are some other limitations, uh, I'm pretty sure if I try networking connection, it wouldn't work. So what needs to happen, uh, we need to install VMware tool, which will update all the drivers. And you see VMware conveniently downloaded all the tools for us. We just need to click install tools. And what's going to happen is uh, it will insert a uh, downloaded ISO file for VMware tool that it downloaded uh, into the D drive. Uh, and we just need to click File Explorer here. And if we go to the D drive, we just need to go to this PC. And this is D drive VMware tool. We'll just click uh, Setup 64, uh, confirm, click Yes. And it will trigger the VMware tool installation process. I'll just go through the wizard and choose default options typical installation click install and we click finish and after restart we should see much much better resolution and uh, all the features of VMware working uh, much much better and much more integrated with latest version of Windows and looks like um, we need to go to VMware view and we can choose option feed guest now and now our resolution fits the guest window and that was possible because we installed VMware tools we're gonna check for updates and you click check for updates button and it should automatically download and install uh, all Windows updates so your uh, installation is secure while it's doing it let's quickly go back to the host operating system uh, and we will click on the documents uh, virtual machines and what you can see here in virtual machines this is our virtual machine that we've created a Windows 10 x 64 and this is where all the files are located you see that right now VMDK file which represents the disk hard disk uh, Windows 10 x 64 is 10 gig gigabytes but when you shut down and close your virtual machine 
you, uh, it typically goes down. This is the temporary file, uh, memory file, uh, two gigabyte memory file, and there are some other files that only uh, get created when you're running virtual machine. So what you might want to do is once installation is complete and updates are complete for Windows, you might want to go and uh, choose uh, compact this file. And uh, this will make it much, much smaller and much more transportable if this is what you're trying to accomplish. Now let's go back to Windows Update. And you see that it's continuing to updating Windows and installing uh, missing components because we don't Once we log in and go back to check for updates, it should show that it's up to date. You see this uh, green checkbox uh, and that indication that it's uh, your Windows is up to date. Once you're done with updates, you can shut down virtual machine. And the way to do it is either through the Windows uh, shutdown button. So you click start a button and then click power. And then there are multiple options, like in the regular uh, hardware-based Windows installation. So you can either choose Restart or you can choose Shutdown. And it will safely shut down Windows operating system. If you like the content, please make sure to click the Like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline, and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.